Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to ask you a serious question. Why do you serve the Savior? Like many of you who are watching this video, I first accepted the Savior because I feared going to hell. Fear only lasts for so long. Some people serve the Savior because they feel that they will be, they will be rewarded, as we are told in the Bible. But having a, can a carrot dangled in front of your face is only going to last so long. We need to look at Yeshua as our example for why we serve. He came here out of love. He loves us. He allowed them, the people of this world, the evil in this world, to beat him until he did not look human any longer. You know all those clean things you see about Jesus hanging on the cross in a, in a cloth? No. He was hung there naked. He was beaten to the point where he did not look human anymore. He was laid open to the bone. His muscles were torn. His head was probably four times the size of a normal human from having a crown of thorns shoved on his head. So many people say, my sins put him there. My sins put him on that cross. You know what put Yeshua on that cross? His love for you. That's what put Yeshua on the cross. He said, no man takes my life. I lay down my life so that I may pick it up again. He came out of obedience to the Father and because he loved us. Love is the greatest motivator of anything. I can ask any of you, if there's somebody in you love in your life who you would do anything for, this is the way we should be looking at Yeshua. As somebody who loves us and whom we love so much that we will do anything for him. Love lasts forever. The dangling of rewards and the fear of hell is only going to last a short time. But love will keep you to him. It will keep you at his side. Love him because he loved you enough to be mutilated, to endure three days in hell, and to resurrect and one day come back again. This is why we should serve. And we should look at our fellow man the same way. And I know it's very hard to do that. I know from experience it's very hard to do that. <laughs> Especially when you get hot days and people are acting like crazy ding-dongs on the roads and honking and stuff. I told one guy he was number one the other day and I wasn't holding up my index finger. I had to ask forgiveness for that. And I'm like, oh gosh, I can't believe I actually did that. But we brush ourselves off, we pick ourselves back up again, and we go. Will I ever do that again? I pray that I don't, because it was stupid. It was reactionary and it was fleshly. But I felt bad for doing that, because I love my Savior. And I don't want him to be ashamed of me. When you love somebody and you, you crave their attention, you crave their love, you do things that make them proud, that make them happy. You don't do stupid stuff. When you do stupid stuff, it's like, oh, you want to crawl underneath the couch and you don't want that person ever to find out. Why? Because you don't want them to think badly of you. But Christ knows we're going to screw up, we're going to mess up. <laughs> he says, brush yourself back off and get back up and keep walking. Even the Apostle Paul, 20 years afterwards, said, I keep trying to do right and I do wrong, you know, but you keep going, you don't stop. 
You serve your fellow man out of love. You serve the Savior because he loves you and you love him. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.